all over goose pimples. And properly so, you little goose. Now, don't be grouchy. This is fun. Master, police inspector. It's all right, Daniel. We have our permit. Oh. Now, there is something I could really use. I wonder where I could get one. What for? Just a thing to keep a wife under control. <laughs> <laughs> this way, ladies and gentlemen, step this way to gaze upon an exhibit absolutely unparalleled in the realms of showmanship. No doubt there are some among you who will doubt the truth of what I'm about to say or doubt the reality of what you're about to see. But believe me, my friends, this is no fate. Before your very eyes is all that remains of a vampire, one of the world's undead. <gasps> Dare I but remove this stake from where his heart once beat, and he would rise from the grave within which he lies and turn into a bat, a vampire bat feed hideously upon the living whose veins pulsate with warm and vibrant blood. Ladies and gentlemen, the actual skeleton of Count Dracula, the vampire. Rubbish, sheer rubbish. I don't know, Herr Hosman. There are many people hereabouts who still believe in the old legend. Well, I, sir, it is true. <laughs> I'm surprised at you people. You seem to doubt what I say, Herr Burgermaster. Bats, vampires, a stake driven through a skeleton's heart. <laughs> Gibberish, every word of it. Furthermore, my friends, one single ray of sunlight falling upon a vampire will destroy him. Say, who are you? My name is Lampini. You are not the Lampini I ran out of this area three years ago. That was my brother. Recently deceased. You remind me of someone, someone I can't quite recall. Perhaps you will remember later, Herr Burgermaster. Yeah, perhaps. If you move, I'll send your soul back to the limbo of eternal waiting. Do as I ask, and I will serve you. I will protect the earth upon which you lie, so that before sunrise, your coffin will always be ready for you. For that, I will do whatever you wish. <laughs> 